So here we are back at Timothy's house on part 23 now of Crybaby Whims. And as you can see, our friends are visible. So I actually, when I first loaded the game, uh, Rain was actually invisible also on top of her brother. They were both invisible, but I did pull a few mods out and now she's here again. And I think I did invite Teddy over as well. And, and he did show up too. So, oh, what am I? Oh, did I go upstairs? Oopsies. Yeah. So I think I'm hoping that we don't experience as many glitches this time. But we also do have, um, we do have a very special event to celebrate tomorrow. So we are on the final couple of days. Oh, somehow the stayover was extended. We're not supposed to be staying over into these days. I don't really know why that happened. But our stayover is ending on Sunday. And it also is Blossom's birthday. And Blossom will be aging up into 18 in this part. Yay, visible friends. Yes. We are very excited that we can see all our friends today. Uh, I'm going to have Timothy repair this. So it's the last days of summer. Oh my gosh, I can tell my game sound isn't working. Oh, that's so annoying. Why? Okay, I fix one problem and another one just pops up. Why is my game sound not working? No, that's so annoying. Oh, well, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. We can still play, but uh, definitely the game sound is not working at all. <laughs> womp womp. Oh no, it is. It is. Is it? Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Let me try one thing. Um, I will pause this. I'm just going to switch over because I know I have, um, I was trying to work on my benefits a little bit. So I've got a bunch of like personal stuff open. Uh, I do want to make sure Ashton gets his stuff done. Oh, Mabel is trying to fix the computer. Okay, well, I'll let her do that if she wants to. Should we try again with the tree house? I don't know if this is going to work, <laughs> but let's try. Why don't you go here? Or why don't you come here together? Um, oh my gosh, I saw that message while I was working, but I couldn't go check it out because um, I was in the middle of a meeting. I really wanted to go see. I totally forgot, Panther Girl. I'm going to go check after stream. You made Ma Maui from Moana the other day. That's so cool. Did I pronounce his name correctly? I'm not really too sure. Let's. Play pretend with, and we'll do island castaway. Let's see if this works. Did it save or did you have to reload? I reloaded. I ended up reloading. I pulled uh, UI cheats as well because I forgot to check that. You think so? <laughs> I haven't watched Moana in a really long time. I know, uh, I know some of my sisters watch it quite a bit because they love that one so much. Me, I'm a really big fan of Tangled. That's my sort of like Disney and the live action Cinderella. Those are my favorite Disney movies right now. They're like my comfort ones. Oh my gosh, this is working this time. Well, definitely Blossom is playing. I'm not too sure if Rain is. It kind of looks like she's just dancing and laughing. Oh no, there we go. There, they're playing together a little bit. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, so maybe it was the UI cheats mod, but it also could have been, I saw my antivirus software was running and it was taking up so much memory. So I actually think that that might've been the issue. Beauty and the Beast is your favorite Disney movie of all time. I'll be honest, like I'm a really big Beauty and the Beast fan too. Even though at this point in my life, I acknowledge that maybe it taught me some problematic values like, if you have a partner that throws furniture at you, you should leave. <laughs> um, but I still, I still love Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so, yeah. That was the one thing, though, that I've learned as an adult <laughs> that I should not do. Okay, let's go. Let's go play. Yeah, it's hard to know when you're a kid. Like, you don't see those things, right? But then as an adult, I was like, wait, I watched as an adult. I was like, wait a second. If this was me in real life, I don't think that this would be a good idea. <laughs> it's one of your top two. Are you talking about um, the, the live action one or the, uh, the animated? I am a big fan of the animated one, to be honest. Like, I, I like the live action one, but I, I don't 
like if I'm going to watch one, I'm going to watch the animated, like the original one. You haven't seen the live action Cinderella yet, Omega? That one is one that you need to. You know what? I'm going to do. I am going to do a live action Cinderella Discord movie night because I think that it is important for everyone to have the opportunity to see this movie. Don't date your kidnappers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Hence your daughter's name, Arabella, because you can call her Bella or Bella. Oh, that's so cute. Aw, that's adorable. Is one of your top two? You like the storyline of Beauty and the Beast? I think, so I will say that I think in the live action, they did a really good job of maybe sort of addressing some of those themes. But I, yeah, I'm still a sucker for the animated one. I just love that one so much. Who is she feeling upset by? Oh, Cadence. I don't know what happened between these two. Because they still get along and chat, but they do have a hurt sentiment between each other. But also people argue Belle has a lot of agency, like she chose to take her dad's place. That is true. She definitely does. And she does stand up to the Beast quite a bit as well. But in real life, it is rare that, you know, someone that has that kind of a temper is just going to sort of let go of it because um, of love. That doesn't, that's not realistic. But I do, I do like it as, I do like the concept of it. I do wish that that was how it worked. It's a complicated story. Yeah, it's true. It is. It is. So. <laughs> a flood <laughs> but definitely the live action Cinderella if you haven't seen it I'm going to do a movie night I don't know if I can do it I'm like I can do it tomorrow let's do it tomorrow I don't know if I can do it tomorrow though but I can maybe do it next Friday I don't know I'm gonna pick a Friday this month and we're gonna watch Cinderella so I'll try and give you all time so that you can actually mentally and emotionally prepare <laughs> You haven't seen it at all either, Panther Girl? Really? I'm surprised a lot of folks haven't seen it. That I figured, you know, people that like Disney would have seen it. But I don't know. I saw it in theaters when it came out, and I was so impressed by it. The acting is phenomenal. The costumes are amazing. They honor the original story but they also make it sort of its own thing which I really like like they don't they didn't try to completely copy the animated Cinderella I love it <laughs> it's so good it's definitely when I'm feeling sad um that is the movie that I put on and I always feel better after it makes me feel like a better person for watching it you're too old fashioned. You like the originals. Yeah, no, the original Cinderella is really good. But I would say that this is the one case where the remake is better. Like the one case that I can think of in the history of movies where like still like the original is here, but like the new one is just a little bit more <laughs> in my eyes. So and and I think because also it doesn't try to compete with the original. So that's another reason why I really like it. Sometimes I feel like the live action Beauty and the Beast, like it tried to be too similar in a way. Like they could have done something more like with Cinderella. The real story of Beauty and the Beast is nothing like the Disney version. Real original fairy tales are not pretty. No. Do you know in the original folklore tale of uh, or one of them, at least of Little Red Riding Hood? Um, she eats her grandma and the whole story is actually a like cannibalism is like hilarious. <laughs> That's like the original story. It was only for entertainment. It was the Grimm brothers and Charles Perrault, who was a French author that uh, started introducing morals. So they collected folklores. They traveled around and heard these folklore tales from, you know, different villages, especially the Grimm brothers. That's what they did. But then they wanted to introduce morals into the story to teach people lessons. And, uh, and so they completely changed the way that those stories were told. But yeah, I have uh, like, I mean, I studied children's lit in my lit classes. So I do have a lot of the original tales. And I wrote a whole essay on the evolution of Little Red. 
and how it turned from this like joke about cannibalism into a story about like purity and listening to your elders. Oh, Mabel is cooking. Okay, let's have Timothy cook something so that we don't forget this time. So, yeah. I, uh, that one I think was the one that I, oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Mabel! <laughs> Extinguish the fire. Now everyone's gonna have a fear of fire. Oh, how am I supposed to deal with this? <laughs> Okay, well, Timothy took care of it. He does have the money to replace the stuff, so that's good. Um, but I'm going to have him come out here and cook instead of Mabel. So what did we do? We did baked potatoes. Let's do some baked potatoes. And the wolf makes her get in bed naked, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Panther Girl. I'm so sorry to hear about your sinuses. That sucks. That's annoying. Okay, the game's definitely acting a lot better. You know, I honestly think that the issue was just a memory issue. I think that my antivirus was just taking up too much memory and GPU um, in my computer. And I think that was actually the issue. I don't think it was a mod issue at all. So just goes to show how closing other programs can really improve how your game runs. Because this is way better. I usually turn it off before. I, I actually thought that I have to intentionally run it. I didn't think it was an auto start program. Yeah, Blossom's getting hungry. Don't worry. We're going to have some potatoes soon. Why don't you go to the bathroom? There we go. And then maybe we can give your dad some of these groceries that you've been growing. There, tons of green peppers. All that good stuff. Lots of cherries. You can have some cherries. Welcome back, Flood. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is Mabel going to try and cook again? What is she off to do with that? Oh, it's just um, breadsticks for the oven. That's fine. Um, sorry for the microwave. Microwave is safe. She can use that. All right. Let's go grab some potatoes. And then Timothy will also need to go to the bathroom after. So he can do that. But everyone else is... Doing fine. Oh, uh, I mean, you could have could have finished eating. I guess he didn't want to. <laughs> Is Blossom off to eat in front of the TV? Why do I feel like Timothy would not allow this? Oh, I think she's just eating in here so she can talk to Cadence. Aw, cute. So I'm trying to figure out what we'll do for... I guess we'll maybe have Ashton throw the birthday party tomorrow. We can actually probably plan it. So, and we're not going to plan it for too late. So let's go in here. Add an event. And we'll do birthday party. And the birthday sim will be Blossom. And then let's invite Court. Uh, Courtney, obviously, Willow will come. We can invite Rianne in too. Not Andy. Uh, why am I inviting Blossom to her own birthday party? Uh, is there anyone else? Rain. Okay, I think that's all that we will invite um, out of Ashton's friends. Uh, oh, we won't invite a caterer, a mixologist, no, entertainer, no. Um, and then we'll just have it at our house and we'll start at, let's start at 11. Um, Greenwood residence. Yeah, we'll have it here. There we go. And then, so what we can do is we can actually go in to the event as Blossom and edit it. And then we can add... Her friends. So we can add Atlas, even though he's like never hung out with us, but he's always around. So we'll add him and then we can add Teddy too. So they'll both be at our birthday party as well. So that was something I just learned recently is you can actually edit an event with your different Sims and then you can invite the folks that they know instead of kind of being stuck with only the friends of the Sim throwing the event. So 
I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, no. <gasps> what is this? I thought these two got along. When it comes to authority, some younger Sims just do not know how to respect their elders. And it's certainly looking that way between Mabel and Blossom. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. The younger Sim will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of the older Sim. And the younger Sim will complain to the older Sim more often. Would you say that Mabel and Blossom have a different, difficult family dynamic? Huh. Well, you know, maybe Mabel is like, oh, it's my turn to be the older sister. And she's maybe going through a little bit of a phase where she's trying to boss Blossom. What do we think? Do you think, oh, I see Pan the Girl is saying no. <laughs> what do we think? These two have been really close in the past. So I'm kind of surprised that this popped up. But at the same time, it could be a phase, but it could be that Mabel really wants to sort of take charge, be in charge. You know, she's getting older. Blossom is getting to a teen, which can be a difficult phase. And she's like, hey, you're still the younger sister. Just because you're going to be a teen soon, it doesn't mean that you get all the rights that I have. It could be interesting, you think? Maybe we should do it just for something different, and then we can always edit it back as they get older. Maybe a misguided phase. That's what I'm thinking. I think it could be just like a phase. They'll grow out of it, but just for a little bit of, just for right now, just sort of with Blossom maybe entering her teen years. Um, Mabel maybe is not coping so well with that. We all have them. Yeah, we do. All right, let's say yes to this. Oh, <laughs> is Mabel sad? Oh, she's scared. Why is she scared? She's probably scared of the dark again. Be insulted by Mabel. <laughs> oh, <laughs> poor Blossom. Her sisters are kind of giving her a hard time on this trip. All right. Well, it is time that Timothy would normally put Blossom to bed. So I do think I will have him do that. It's the last time he can put her to bed as a little girl. So let's do that. Here we go. Can you put her to bed, please? Put Blossom to bed. There we go. Is she going to say... There we go. Oh my gosh, Ashton's been promoted to team captain. Good job, Ashton. He's feeling esports e success from winning a Sim Scuffle match. Ashton won a university held match of Sim Scuffle. Congrats. <gasps> Good for you, Ashton. I think that that's actually the top of um, like the esports team. Like, I don't think he can get higher than that. Discuss Sim Scuffle strategies. Compliment Sims couple skills or chat with teammates on the computer. Okay. She's got another daily task, but Blossom has been put to bed. We will tuck her in one more time just because this is the last time he's going to get to do it. He also is not going to see her now for a little while, so he might be feeling extra sentimental. And then I think he would want to spend time with his other kids. So maybe he can play. Oh, I guess Cadence isn't around, but maybe he can play with Mabel a little bit. Yeah, Cadence is in bed already. <laughs> there. So, uh, Mabel, are you gonna, <laughs> you're in a towel. Let's, uh, let's give you some clothes. Where's dresser? What? Where's dresser? MC dresser? Do I not? What? Oh, there it is. I don't know why I couldn't see it. Change outfit. Um, yeah, there you go. Hey, did she always have these boots? I don't remember there being stars on her boots. That's funny. Aw. Yeah, Timothy's gonna, I think, like, miss his kids. But I'm glad that they were here for a good long while. Other than Courtney, of course. Courtney decided not to hang out with us. But hopefully it's just, you know, a bit of a phase. Maybe, maybe they can reconnect at some point later. Wait, who's on the road to fame? Not really too sure. Is that Ashton? 
I don't know who got a fame point there. It didn't really tell me. <laughs> I think he would really like to be able to put like his other kids to bed too. But I think he's he's being a little bit more lenient because it's their last night. Or at least with Mabel. Cadence already went to bed. And then after this, I'm going to send Timothy to bed as well because he does need to get up early and make the cake for Blossom's birthday. So you can head to sleep once you're done. Ashton is in bed. It's his last night here. Um, I think these are Mabel's and Cadence's suitcases. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Um, I guess I never brought them upstairs. Oh, this is someone's suitcase as well. I'm not really too sure who. Oh, like they have a really good relationship. How are his relationships with his? He's got really good relationships with like all the kids, even with Courtney, technically, even though for the storyline where we're saying they don't have a very good relationship, but they do actually have a pretty strong one. I'm going to speed through this game a little bit. Okay, I think that's enough playing. Let's go to bed. Timothy needs to get up early. There we go. So I think he'll get up, brush his teeth, and then he'll get straight to cake baking. So we were doing a coconut cake. There it is. Yeah, we'll do that. And then Ashton can get up, brush teeth, take a shower. You didn't know you could just drag dishes to the sink? Yeah, you can do the tidy up for your Sims if you want. It's very handy. I do it all the time because <laughs> my Sims like to leave their stuff everywhere. And there we go. It's officially the first day of fall. Also Blossom's birthday. They will be going back to school this week. And it is their last day at their dad's house. I've really enjoyed spending this time with Timothy, so I am sad about that. So, but yeah, you can definitely drag, uh, drag dishes to the sink. You can also um, drag things to trash cans as well, like drag dishes or other trash. Yeah. All right, I'm going to have her take a bath because it's her birthday. She wants to be nice and clean. Oh, actually, Timothy was going to brush his teeth. I'm not going to have him brush his teeth. Oh, and then Ashton wants to go grill something. Let's uh, let's serve a bit of breakfast. There, we'll do some. Let's just do some fruit salad because Timothy's gonna be getting up soon to make the cake. Oh, Mabel kicked us out of the bathroom. <laughs> She's like, "Hey, I'm older. I get to shower first. I don't care if it's your birthday." <laughs> well, you know what? Blossom can come upstairs and take a bath. There, let's do that. She's feeling a little stressed because of that fire, which is <laughs> unfortunate. Ashton, where are you going to make? <laughs> Don't tell me he's coming to use the bathroom upstairs to make the salad. Oh, no. Is he coming to use this counter? Your sister's trying to take a bath. <laughs> there, go use the counters in the kitchen. Let's try this again. Um, and to the fridge. Yes, you can also put things. Ashton, come on. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You've got so much space downstairs. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to grab this. He's freaking out that he saw Blossom. Oh, maybe he can't because maybe Timothy needs the counter. Okay, I really want you to do this fruit salad downstairs. Um. I thought they had to. Uh, you're running a four person Sims right now and they leave everything everywhere. It took 20 seconds because ad. Oh, no worries. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, they can and you can make them if you want to play that way. But I definitely like drag stuff all the time. As soon as they're done, like just put it in the trash or I put the leftovers in the fridge because my Sims are not likely to do it. And I know this about them. <laughs> Cadence is always having these, like, energy drinks. I think it's so funny. Sims are so weird. Yeah. 
They definitely just do their own thing, that's for sure. It doesn't matter what I tell them. All right, I'm gonna let him grab this. And... Timothy's getting the stuff out for the cake. I don't think Ashton's gonna be done the salad on time. Oh yeah, it's okay. So he's just gonna go make the cake in the bathroom. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I forgot that he can do that. <laughs> Get rid of that. There we go. There, Blossom's tidying a bit. Look at her outfit. She's so cute. Oh, I'm sad we didn't get to see a lot of these outfits. I changed her outfits too late in her childhood. But look at her little butterfly t-shirt. It's just so cute. Why don't you grab a bit of this fruit salad? Hello, Eretics. How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'm sorry I have not been around a lot, but I'm really excited to be doing some Sims tonight. We are just getting ready for Blossom's birthday party, which is taking place at in a couple hours. Um, text emergency. I texted someone, but they didn't text back, and it's been an hour. She must be talking to Timothy. I think he would just say, wait for them to respond. Let's do that. You're good. It was a long day, but you're relaxing. Nice. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, this whole week, every day kind of felt like a Monday, but I'm glad we've made it to the weekend. Blossom had her fruit salad. Oh, okay, nice. I'll put that away. Here we go. So um, since you are just joining us now, Eretics, we have learned that Blossom and Mabel actually have a difficult family dynamic. It just sort of popped up as we were hanging out with them. I think it's a bit of a phase. You know, I don't think that like it's going to last because they've normally been pretty close, but maybe just with Blossom Aging up into a teenager today, maybe Mabel feels a little bit like threatened or maybe she feels like Blossom is getting a little bit too sassy with her or something like that. Promotion anxiety from lack of promotion. Pyro, no, from recalling your first fire. So, so they do currently have a difficult relationship. I think that will change, um, but I think that's just like something that they're going through right now. Okay, I don't want anyone to take this cake. Let's go. Add some birthday candles. And then I'm going to let Timothy get ready. There we go. So we've got a birthday cake all set up. Oh, look at Cadence cleaning the barbecue. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> You're okay now that you got dinner. Nice. What are you having for dinner tonight, Omega? You went to a flea market and found a kid's desk for $5 for your daughter for school next year. Wow, that's a good deal for sure. Flea markets are so fun. Also, I love um, like moving days. If you go around university neighborhoods uh, when they're moving out um, at the end of spring, you can find lots of good stuff for free. But that only comes once a year, but it's coming up soon. So. I'm going to definitely be traveling around the roads and seeing if I can find uh, some nice furniture. I think I'm going to have Timothy cook a little bit um, so that we have some food for all the guests when they arrive. So let's do some grilled chicken. We know he's a grill master. He likes to cook on the barbecue. And um, so I think he would make like a bunch of different sort of grilled foods for everyone. And then do they have like music or something? Should I buy a stereo? I don't, I don't usually, oh yeah, we do have music here. I'm going to let Blossom come and turn this on so that she can put it on. Oh, do, I don't know what kind of music she likes. Let's put, um, Uh, making friends. I really want to be friends with someone, but they seem don't seem to want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friends? Uh, I think it would just say you can't force friendship. <laughs> uh, maybe Blossom, maybe because it's her birthday, we would do like, do they have like tween pop or something? I think. Soul singer, songwriter, S pop. 
Maybe we'll do S pop. Let's do that. There we go. So there's some music playing. Let's turn on all the lights. There. Are you ready to start? Yes. Let's get started with the birthday party. Oh, everyone's in their party wear. Oh my gosh, they look so cute. I don't even know what their party wear is, to be honest. <laughs> because like we never throw parties. But look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, even Timothy, look at him all dressed up. He finished the chicken. I'm going to put the chicken out here. Um, or maybe I'll put it on the table. And then let's make something else. We'll grill. Let's do some grilled fruit as well. There we go. Are there any goals? I thought that we had done a gold event, but I guess we didn't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Willow has shown up and she is dressed to the nines. Do you think she's trying to maybe make Timothy a little bit like jealous or something? <laughs> she's like just a little bit like, yeah, this is what you're missing out on. Just as a reminder, we, we were once married, even though she's the one that kind of ended things. Okay, I'm going to have, I'm going to have Blossom take some photos with people. So let's take a photo with her friends. Go take a photo with Rain. Cheesy fried eggs and a bagel. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. I love, I love all breakfast foods. Um, and that kind of sounds like a breakfast food to me, but that sounds like my perfect dinner. Oh, you're doing good. Better than Monday when you got some sad news. Oh, I'm glad you're doing better today, but I, I am sorry about the sad news. Where is she off to take this photo? Where are her friends? Like, where are we going here? Okay, you know what? No, no, no. We're not going to, like, leave the premises. Let me form a group of her and her friends. Um, attempt mental telepathy? What? Wait, sorry. I've never seen this before. <laughs> okay. Let me just form a group. Actions. Form group. And let's get all the kids in a group together and then let's get them. Why don't we do a little bit of sliding? Slide with her friends. There we go. There, they can go play outside a little bit. Everyone else is mostly hanging out in here. Uh, oh, why is Rianne inside? Oh no, she's an adult now. Yeah, she's aged up into a young adult while we've been here. So we'll actually move her out as soon as we move back to Willow's place. So she won't be here when she's back. That's a new one. You've never seen that before. I think it might be because of how high her mental skill is. I believe. Oh my gosh, there's rain. She's all the way over there. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad she's coming. This must be Atlas. And Teddy is here too. Look at them all playing together. Oh, they're so cute. Can we get Timothy out here watching them a little bit? And then maybe he can take some photos of them. Oh, look at her do that flip. They're definitely getting good use out of this thing this summer. Um, what? That looked like it hurt. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they're the best at this, but they're definitely trying. Oh, look at how cute they all are playing together. Why is it raining outside? Everyone's got umbrellas. Oh, and why is this? <laughs> yeah, let's pick that up. Maybe we'll stop with the slip and slide if it's raining. I'm not really too sure. Or maybe it's more fun because it's raining. Can I have him take a photo of Blossom? Yeah, let's take a photo of her as a kid. Why is she doing it in her clothes? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to question it at this point. Although Blossom, like this is, this actually is her bathing suit outfit. So she just has a cover up over her bathing suit. I thought it was so cute with the strawberries. Okay, come get your photo taken. Is it Timothy's birthday too? Wait. 
Where do I see his age? Oh, no, he's going to dance. Okay, you know what? They don't want to take the photos. Um, let's get them all inside. I think that's the problem. Let's have them dance together a little bit. There we go. There. Everyone is dancing. This is super fun. The kids are coming inside now. Poor Blossom's garden is not looking so hot, but we're not going to worry about it for today. I'm going to change them back into their party wear because I thought it was cute. <laughs> so, yeah, it started to rain. Everyone's coming back inside. Everyone's changing back into their outfits. Teddy, get into your party wear because I want to take some photos. Um, there, that's his party wear. Uh, Atlas. Uh, dresser. Party wear. There we go. And then let me bring the grilled fruit inside too. And then let's get rain into her party wear. we go. Um, let's try again and just make sure everyone's coming to dance. There we go. Dance together. There we go. And then I want her to take some photos with her friends. So we will take a photo with Rain. <laughs> Look at Timothy breaking it down. He's having a great time. He's like, kids' parties are the best. Maybe I can get Timothy to talk to Courtney a little bit because he hasn't seen her all summer. And maybe he would actually try and like... See if he can try to fix their relationship. Oh my gosh, look at Rhiannon go. Okay, let's stop dancing. Oh, she likes dancing? Yeah. Okay, let's take these photos. Hopefully there's not two Sims here. Too many Sims, I should say. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who's blocking my photo? Of course it was Mabel. Um, let's try this again. Take a photo with Rain. There, we'll get some nice summer memories, summer photos together. Aw, look at how cute they are. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. There we go. And then I want her to take a photo with Teddy too. Take a photo with Teddy. And then, uh, oh yeah, Atlas is still here. We can take a photo together too. Oh, look at how cute they are. Find another pose. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it cuts them off. I love this photo, but it cuts them off. It's so cute. Maybe I can take one. Um, <laughs> they love doing the silly faces together. Let's do one more. <laughs> oh my gosh, these photos are so cute, but they're like so cut off. Oh, yeah, this is the best one. There we go. There we go. Okay. And then, right, we need to get a photo with Atlas, too. There, we don't want to leave Atlas out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use MC Command Center to age up her friends so that they can all be the same age together. And then we'll have her blow out her candles. Oh, look, Ashton's catching up with his mom. <laughs> oh, someone just mastered creativity. Who was that? Okay, so we'll get photos with these two. Oh, look, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's go ahead and have um, everyone go here together. And then I will have, let's have everyone that I can control come here too. 
There we go. Go here. And then Blossom is going to make a wish. There, and we're going to age her up. Hang on. Let's try and get a good view here. Oh, she's going to think about her wish. Everyone's singing happy birthday. Unfortunately, my game sound's not working, so we can't hear it, but I do see it. I imagine it sounds beautiful. <laughs> and here she goes. She blew out all her candles. Timothy threw a little confetti. Everyone else is cheering her on as she ages up into a teen outside, I guess. We're going to do this outside. I mean, sure. Where are we going? We're going out here. Okay. Timothy came to watch. <gasps> no, it didn't work. Oh, no. And let me see. Is that cake being eaten? Oh, actually, surprisingly, it's not. Ashton, can you throw some candles on there? Let's try this again. I definitely want them to age up properly. Let's, uh, let's try one more time. Go blow out the candles. And um, let me see if I can use MC Command Center to age up these two. Uh, there we go. So Blossom's coming to age up. Rain is aging up. There we go. So Rain is 18. She's looking pretty cute over there. She's got a lot of colors in her hair. Um, let me see if I can do one more Sim before uh, she goes and blows out her candles. Uh, wait. Where do I do it? Um, set age. There we go. Teen. All right, he's off to age up. Blossom is doing her candles. If I have to, I will do the same thing as I've done with these two. Oh my gosh, Atlas actually looks pretty cute. And we managed to age Blossom up. So Blossom is officially a teen. She has earned a bonus trait. See all her bonus traits in the Simology panel. High self-esteem from level of confidence. These Sims are regularly become confident even when fall failing to gain skills or succeed at work. They're also less likely to develop a fear of failure. Teenage gym, romantic travails, sweaty gym shorts, and hormonal upheavals await. Best buckle those boots, the ride starts here. So we have got a teenage blossom. Now, actually, I don't 100% remember, but I'm pretty sure that her trait is supposed to be either cheerful or unflirty. So let me just look up. Oh, of course my keyboard is off. Turn that on. Yeah, let me just double check. I should have checked before stream. There we go. Just gonna check our challenge rules for a second here. Um, so for Gen 2, um, unflirty, loves the outdoors, and cheerful, yes. So I think at this point in her life, we are going to do cheerful as her teen trait. Um, I think we'll save uh, unflirty for her adulthood. And I have a reason why I'm doing it this way, uh, which we will discover. I think so her um, aspiration is supposed to be the gardener's aspiration. Right? Yeah. Freelance botanist. So I think that's a knowledge one. Is it? I don't actually know. No, is it? They're like a... Is it like a collection one or something? Nature. There we go. Of course, it's in nature. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Under nature, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Panther Girl. <laughs> Freelance bonus. The Sim wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener. So this is her aspiration that we have to complete, I think, as part of her gen. And so we will get started on it as a teen. And let's take a look, see what she looks like. Now, I don't know that her face will change once we get the upgrade, um, 
the patch that will fix sort of the messed up faces that we've been getting. But I think, I think that this, she looks actually quite a bit like Andy. Like, I think she has Andy's lips and nose for sure. But I'll be interested to see her with some, like, when we do a few skin details. I'm not too sure. She doesn't really look like either of them. I kind of wonder if maybe she's a little bit bugged. But she definitely looks cute. She just doesn't even look, she doesn't look particularly like either Sim to me. Also, it's trying to give her back her red hair that I, I cheated. I took her red hair away because I wanted her to have a different hair color so you could really tell that her genetics are different. And then we're going to age Teddy up too. Sim commands set age teen. There we go. So she is now a teenager. Let's have all our brand new teens come and grab some cake together to celebrate their new teenage dem. There we go. Oh, they're so cute. So she's definitely made some friends while she's been here. Um, but after we're done this, look, Timothy is over here. He's playing a game with Willow and Ashton. Of course, Ashton would try and bring these two together. He's like, Let, let's play together. Want to play a game with me? <laughs> That's so funny. Um, but yeah, she is officially a teen. And after today, we will be moving back into the city. So I'm going to go ahead and do a save. And then once this birthday party ends, we'll jump into Cass and we will fix her up a little bit. It does look like Rain kept a lot of her skin details. She's really pretty. She did keep a lot of the skin details, I think, that we applied um, on her as a child. And then, and then we've got... Um, We've got Atlas here. He's, he's really cute, actually. I don't know. I didn't see it when he was a child, but he's aged up to be quite an attractive sim, I think. And then this is the sim that we made together on stream. This is Teddy. He's definitely going for more of a feminine look, actually, which is kind of interesting. But he's definitely very cute. I love Rain's vibe. I love her vibe too. She looks really cute. Well, I'll give her a makeover, but I do, I do like sort of the style that she aged up with. And I think we can try and sort of keep her true to this vibe when we give her a makeover for sure. So, but it looks like the birthday party is over. So I'm going to jump into Cass. And we're going to take a look at Blossom and her new teenage self. I'm really trying to figure out if she looks like Andy, but I'll be honest, like, I don't see it. I see it a little bit. Like, I definitely think that the nose is Andy's. The eyes must be Andy's as well because they're not Willow's eyes. Um, are these her eyelashes? I'm going to take those off. So let's see what I want to keep. Did she have dimples? And she had, she had a birthmark, too. I think she had this one, right? And then we gave it to her in, I think, this color. Um, and then let's take a look up here at an overlay that we can give her. I think we're going to give her something like this because it is going to show a little bit more, I think, that she, like, I think this will help, like, just bring out some of Andy's features a little bit more. Maybe she, she does have a little bit of a, like, higher lid. So maybe we can do something like this. Something like this, maybe. Although, is that making her lips bigger? I think it does. I think I have... Um, I think I have a lip mask that will change that for us. Hmm. Is it making her lips a little bit like too big? It might be. Yeah, it does make her lips like a lot bigger than they are. 
I like this one on her. I think this one suits her quite a bit. Or maybe something like this. What do we think? Um, do we like this? This kind of makes her look a little bit more like Willow. Or we can give her something like, uh, like, like this, this one, this one, I think. No. This one. This one kind of, well, I think pull more features from Andy. What do we think? We can't use Timothy's. Oh, the lips are really cute on this one. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to give her some eyelashes. Maybe these ones? <laughs> Do you like it? I like this song. I think it's cool. I think I'm going to give her this one. It does make her lips quite a bit bigger, which I'm not a huge fan of. But I could, like, manually make her lips smaller. Panther Girl, you took some sinus meds. I hope it helps as well. What if we do give her the red hair? I mean, she wants to have red hair so badly. No, we've committed to the black. We have, we have to do the black. But she would look really cool with red hair. But I do think we've committed to the black. At this point, we can't just change her hair, like change her genetics, like midway through the legacy. <laughs> midway through her growing up. Kimmy Gaming, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the fam. Black hair, Omega. Okay, we'll stick with the black. We'll stick. I don't know. I had a momentary lapse. <laughs> Momentary lapse of judgment. Oh, I do have these lashes that we can do too. These ones. I think I'll stick with these ones. Too bad you couldn't give her red highlights. I could maybe. I might be able to do that actually. Is this going to take her eyelashes away? Oh, it took away some of her birthmarks. That's okay, though. I think that these are more like the ones that she had when she was younger. Oh, that changes like her whole face. But it does make her lips smaller. But it kind of changes like the shape of her face or something. Oh, I don't know why I'm going to give her scars. Hmm. Yeah, I think I could do that. I think I definitely can do that. It's definitely possible. Oh, these are what she had on. I'm going to do this. We, I think if I remember, we didn't really do freckles on her, did we? Oh, 
These ones are so cute. Why don't I use these freckles very often? There we go. I like that. We'll do these eye bags instead, I think. This hairline. Wait, where were the eye bags that I gave her? I didn't, I didn't mean to take those off. These ones. Yeah. Um, what else? Did I put this? Those are the eye bags. I put something else on. Yeah. I don't want that on. I liked what I had on before, which I think was this. No. This? No. This. Oh, yeah, but I don't think we're going to do that. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think so. She's cute. She's definitely cute. I just can't tell. Like, I think she's like a really very much a blend. I think that maybe these dimples she actually got from Andy because I think he's got quite like, um, Quite prominent dimples, I believe. Does that take that away? Yeah, it does. We're going to keep those. Um, oh, that took them away too. Okay. Let's go to the bottom. So we gave her that back. Um, these are her freckles that she has on. Yeah, I think I've got these in another layer, which means that I could put something else on at this point. Andy has this kind of a face shine on. Which, like, maybe it would be nice to keep the same one that Andy has on. And then I can give her those freckles back in the higher layer. Oh, and these are her, these are her dimples. I'm just going to give them to her in that version. Yeah, there we go. And then these ones. Yeah, we can give them to her up here. And I think that's a lot better. Yeah, I like that better. And then if we can give her a hairline too, I want to do that. As long as she doesn't have anything on this layer that I would be taking away. Did that take anything away? I don't think it did. Okay, let's do that. All right, I think that's good for her. Let's um, let's change her to her every day. I probably should have done that before I changed her hair, actually. Let me give her back. What hair did she age up with? This one. Give her back this one. Yeah. So we can change her hair in all our outfits. And then I'm going to give her some eyes. Um, maybe these ones. I 
I kind of like these ones. And then the only thing that I might do, so let's pick a hair for her. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. <laughs> How long would her hair be? How long was it when she was a child? She actually had fairly long hair. So maybe we'll give it to her a little bit longer. Because she's still a young teen at this stage. And then I do think we're going to make her lips a little smaller. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is just because her skin detail makes her lips a lot bigger than they actually are. There. So I kind of want to like try and give her back like her size of lips like that. There we go. And then I do feel like actually her mouth is really wide. And I think that's because Andy has like a really wide mouth. But um, just going to. Oh, I can do that without changing the shape of her mouth at all. Oopsies. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, like, see, because her lips look a little bit, like, balloony. It's going to make them a bit smaller. Like that. And then... Give her a bit of a smile. Like that. Like a little bit. There we go. What do we think? Could give her the pigtails. <gasps> I might have to give her the pigtails. Because again, like she's just aged up. I think these might be Andy's exact brows too. <laughs> I think she's really cute. Looked like she just got filler. Yeah, I know. That's the skin detail. It does make her look like she just got filler. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> All right. How should we dress her? She actually was like pretty put together as a child. But I think part of that was her mom's influence. Now, her colors are pink and white. So I do think we will keep her... In that genre, but I, I don't know. Some of these are like a little bit old, although this is super cute. Um, hmm. Um. How would she dress? I don't think she would dress like overly fussily at this point. She's still young. Her waist is like really high. <laughs> um, I really feel like I need new CC. I feel like I've seen the same clothes for so long. It's been a while since I've like added clothes into the game. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this skirt is so cute. <gasps> she looks so good in purple. I wish purple was her color. Like, look at how good she looks in this shade of purple. <gasps> this sweater is so cute. Okay, hang on. I got to save the sweater. It doesn't work with this skirt, but I wanted to have that sweater for another outfit. Okay. Keep looking. Keep looking. Now, again, she's a kid. I have to remember this. She looks like really grown up. Maybe I'll make her a little bit shorter. I think I might just, I know her dad is tall, but she's like, we said 14, right? Let's try and make her look 14. <laughs> this is going to be a challenge. Challenge for, for me. And she likes pink. But I like purple on her. I like this top too. Hang on. Save that top. Okay, maybe I don't do this skirt because I do think it's a little bit too grown for her. Um... Hmm. How are you saving items? What do you mean saving items? Oh, I'm just I'm just creating a new outfit. <laughs> um, I'm just creating a new outfit when I find something that I want her to wear, but it just doesn't work on the current outfit. That's how I'm like I'm not really saving them. <laughs> but that's what I'm doing. Look at sneakers. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't really saving. I was just kind of saying that. Um, maybe do some shoes like that. Let's see if I can find another top. I don't know if this is quite the right one. Uh, that's really all my top. I was like, what sorcery is this? <laughs> yeah, no, I wasn't like saving them. Oh my gosh, I really need some new CC. I feel so uninspired by all of this. Do I keep her in this top? Is it too grown for her? Why does this color look more like... This color makes her look younger than the pink for whatever reason. I don't know why. I might just keep her in this color. And then maybe we can do some cute earrings. What is this doing? Oh, is this giving her? There you go. See, look, I can do red highlights. <laughs> I don't know if it looks the best with this hairstyle, but I'll bet you we could find one that looked really good.
Yeah, there's definitely options if we do want to change our hair and add some red. But um, I don't think we'll do it right now because she's still just a little kid. Hmm. Little flower clips. <gasps> yes, I think so. Maybe pink ones? Or do we keep the white? It's cute. The sweater or the clips? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is really cute. I wonder if we can do earrings as well as the clips. I'm not sure. It might remove the clips. Um, I just like... I'm sure I've got some like cute, like maybe a little seashell, little heart earrings, little butterflies. Oh, no, those mess with her eyelashes. Do they all? No, they don't all. She's got little flower earrings too. Is that too much flower? <laughs> it is a lot of flower. Oh, little mushrooms. <laughs> Is it too much with the earrings? That's too many earrings for her age, I think. Those are cute, actually. Those are really small, but I like these. These actually look like she did maybe like... Maybe her gift from one of her parents was to get her ears pierced. And these are like her first piercings. I could kind of see that. That's cute. What do we think of that? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And then we have a second outfit here with this top, which I do want to do. I don't think it will work with like this skirt. No. Um, but maybe we can find some like jeans that she can wear with that or something. Those are cute. Yeah, I like those ones. I think we'll stick to those. Uh, Would she maybe wear a skirt with this? Or short? <laughs> maybe jeans like this? And then some, like, sandals, I think. Something like that. I'm going to put the hair clips and stuff back on, but I'll, I'll just copy them over with MC command and then I'll get her some. Oh, it didn't keep her hair. 
Oh, it did. It did. It just didn't keep it for for that one outfit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Take that off. <laughs> okay, so let's let's get her some PJs. Um, um, Whoops. What should we do for her PJs? Um, you've got this pink top and then maybe some like sleep shorts or something with it. If I have, I'm sure I have sleep shorts. There, something like that. Those are her colors, pink and white. Um, and then she's currently in her party outfit. So let's change her hair. And we had those cute pigtails. Stop it. I have this and I have a bow. Wait, where's the bow? <laughs> I want to do this because I have a bow in my hair today. I'm sure I have the bow. Back had to make your husband's lunch for work. Oh, that's sweet of you. We're trying to see. I think there's a bow that I can put in this hair. I want to see if I have it. That one is too high. What? What hair is this? Who made this one? I think this might be Sim Celebrity. Too low. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the Sim Celebrity accessories. So, do I have that bow? Oh, we don't want it to be party though. Okay, let's scroll down. Sims Trouble, Oak Tree, Mandy. Some celebrity. None of those. It could be one of these. That's too high. No, do I not have that bow? That hair bow is so cute. I'll have to see if I can find it. Uh, let's give her back the pigtails for now. Look at, see that little bow? It's so cute. Um, it, was it up or down? Maybe it was down. Yeah, here it is. There we go. Um, let's give her like a little party outfit or something. Because this is what she's in right now. <gasps> Whoa, that's so fancy. We could give her something like this. Maybe with like the hearts.
I think something like that. And then she can keep heels, but these ones are like maybe a little bit much for her age. Oh, these sandals are cute. Maybe something like that. Or should I give her like slightly nicer shoes for her party? Maybe like these. Like that. There we go. I think she looks cute. What do we think? And should I, if I go back here, should I give her like a little lip? Something for her lips? Just to give her lips like some color. What color are people's lips? Why can't I figure this out right now? <laughs> Maybe she doesn't need any. Her lips look fine. He works his third shift. Oh my goodness. Your husband works a lot. A third shift. What if we do something like this? Just like a little bit of color like that. She's adorable. She reminds you of a kid you knew years back. Oh, really? Oh, that's so cute. I feel like we could give her a little bit of blush, to be honest. I think she could use like a little bit of color. And like we can tone it down. But I just wanted to have a little bit of like color in her face. Do something like this. Might just like do it very light. Yeah, just like a very, very little bit like that. There. So there's little Blossom's makeover. I think she's looking really cute. All right. Let's accept that. We will have to um, like make her a bit taller as she gets older. So hopefully I won't forget to do that. I don't think I will. But just in case. And then as soon as we load back in, I'm also going to save. I don't want to lose her cute little makeover. Let me just. Um, let me change her dresser outfit to this. And then I'm going to copy. Copy makeup. And copy accessories. Paste accessory to all. Outfit. Taste and makeup the all outfit. There we go. And then I should be able to change her back into her party wear. And she should have. I feel like that didn't work. She might have. The makeup might have worked. But she definitely doesn't have the hair clips. Hang on. Let me try that one more time. Uh, copy paste. Copy accessories. Paste accessories to all make outfits. And then copy makeup. Taste makeup to all outfits. There we go. There. Now she should have them. No, it still didn't work. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. I'll do it manually if I have to. There we go. She definitely, I think at this point, she must have figured out like, wait a second. I don't look like my siblings. You know? You've never used that feature. It's really handy when it works. I've never actually had it not work. That's the first time. But then you don't have to like, especially if you do eyelashes as an accessory, like in the glasses, it's so helpful to do that rather than applying them to every outfit. And it does work. Most of it, like I've never seen it not work before. So, <laughs> but um, she's definitely, I think she's sitting here thinking like, wait a second. I don't look like my other siblings. I don't look like my dad. She's got to be thinking that at some point. <laughs> yeah, eyelashes over and over. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is we're going to come and just 
chat a little bit with our dad and maybe give him a hug and thank him for the birthday party. Um, oh, they can become best friends. Affection, hug lovingly. Let's come and thank him for taking care of us for the summer. For such a great summer for building the tree house together and teaching us to ride a bike and helping to boost our confidence and putting us to bed and doing all of those things. And uh, I, I want us to hug. <laughs> hug. Let's try this again. They're chatting too much, I think. Oh, my gosh. Okay, hang on. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. I have to reset everyone. I need, I need the hug for the story. There we go. Hug. Let's try this again. I think we'll give him a hug. We'll thank him for everything that he's done for us this summer, teaching us to ride a bike, letting us garden. We'll take a photo together too. Take a photo with Timothy. Ashen will come over too and give him a hug as well. And then, photo please. Please listen to me. I want a photo. I'm going to change her outfit, actually, for the photo. I want her to have the little hair clips in it. There we go. Let's do this. This outfit. What? Oh, my gosh. It's not working. <laughs> Is that? I did update MC Command Center, but it feels like it's not working. Okay. You know what? It's fine. I see her in the outfit here. I don't see her in the outfit here, but let's just get this photo. Take a photo with dad. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at how cute they are. Of course, she's like a bunch shorter than him, which is why it's maybe a little awkward. Let's see if we can find a pose that works. Maybe not these ones. These are like romantic poses. Sims, come on. This is a father-daughter relationship. Can we do like a relaxed photo maybe? There. This looks like a typical like father-daughter selfie. There we go. She's looking cute. He's looking a bit awkward. All right. And so we've given him a hug. I'm going to let her go to the bathroom. And then I want um, Ashton to come over here also and hug his dad. There we go. Um, I don't know if they'll become best friends, but uh, we'll definitely give him a hug. And maybe also express some admiration and just say, Dad, you know, it looks like you're, you're doing really well here. You've made some friends with the neighbors. You've become a great cook. Like, glad to see that you're doing well. And it was really nice to spend the summer with you. And I know I'm an adult now, but I'm glad that you still welcomed me into your home like I was your kid. I'll be back. And, uh, and yeah, we are going to say goodbye to Timothy. And, I mean, well, he'll definitely still be around. But I don't know if we will play as Timothy again. So I'm going to go to Manage Worlds. And I'm going to move Ashton and Blossom back into Willow's house. And next time that we play, we are going to be playing a teenage Blossom. And we are going to be playing back with Willow and completing Ashton's university. And wrapping up our Generation 1. And we are officially moving on to Gen 2 which will be with Blossom. So we'll take Blossom back and we will take Ashton back. And yes, we'll end the stay over. And then um, I'm also going to, I'm going to pull Rian and out of this household. And Yeah, I just want her to be in her own. 
Hang on. Let me try this again. Rhiannon? Create a new household? Do I need to give her money? Is that why? I think she gets like 140. <gasps> Create a new household? Wait, where did Rhiannon go? Okay, we're going to figure Rhiannon out before next time, but that's where I'm going to end it. So everyone should be back in San Myshuno now, and we will be joining them next time. We can't see any of their faces, which makes me sad, but this is where we will end the part with for today. So we've got Blossom, who is a lovely young lady. She's all grown up. She is now a teen. Um, Timothy is back on his own. Rhiannon has moved out. She aged up while we were away during the summer. Ashton is this close. I think he has one day left of university and then he will be graduating. And that's where we'll end this part for today. But we will be catching up with these folks again next week and definitely seeing what life has in store for them. So I will end the part there. Thank you, everyone, for joining. If you're on YouTube, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying it so you don't miss another episode. And I will switch us over and see if we have any friends who may be online.